coming forward. We're standing on the bridge of a ship called the Greg Mortimer, which just happens to be my name as well, which is very, very strange. What does it feel like having a ship named after you? It's uh, more bizarre than you could possibly imagine. It's very confusing because everywhere I walk on the ship, I see things with my name on it. So that's humbling and disorienting at the same time. This vessel is a world first. It's extraordinary. It is a new class of ship. It's a 1A. Polar Class 6 vessel. We've just been from Tierra del Fuego to the Antarctic Peninsula and now we're on the way back again. On the way down we had a blissful ride. Sweet as travelling on marshmallow. And then on the way back we got punched in the nose. We've seen nine metre waves throughout the day. Very keen to see that moment, to see how the ship would perform, and it's beautiful. This ship did everything the designer expected of it and more. The bridge is my favourite place on the ship. I spend most of my day uh, while we're on the ship up here, and it's like, in this case, being on the Starship Enterprise is pretty spacey and of course it's the engine room driving the ship and, and here the, the skill of the ship crew comes to the pointy end of how the ship interacts with the rest of the world and the oceans and so you can see it all unfold here and very importantly and critical to our expeditions is this is open to all the passengers. We, we spend as much time as we can up here, and that's a rare treat. This is a ship's library, and it's a very intimate space. And in particular, I think it's a really beautiful space to get a sense of the quality of the vessel, the colours and the textures. It's soft, it's inviting to be in, and you can watch icebergs go by. As you can say, see, the, the walls at either end of the library have uh, a collection largely of polar books. Uh, and then as we spread our wings throughout the world, it'll fill up with the rest of the world's books, beautiful places. This is the Elephant Island Bar, and we're right next to the lecture room. And some would say it's the heart of the ship. Uh, not because it's a bar, because it's a meeting point. Uh, there's a reception and dining room nearby in the lecture room, and it's a lovely open space, um, graced by a piano in the corner. And it, it's a nice, deliberately styled, relaxed place. So, as you can see, it's a, it's a fairly slick, it's a sophisticated, relaxed place. Bearing in mind that we're not a, we're not a formal company. It's a, it's a very fine space, but we might come in here after a landing in our, uh, our long johns or, or our outdoor gear. And down the corridor you can see the main dining room, our dining room. This is on deck five, and then on deck seven, where the library is, there's also a gymnasium, a spa and a massage room. This is the ship's lecture room. And as you can see with the sun streaming in, it's a beautiful place with big windows. And we spend quite a bit of time in here learning about the Antarctic, for example, and having briefings about the places that we're going to go and coming in and uh, relaxing in the evenings and talking about what we've done. That's a vital part of the ship. And it's a very beautiful space, as you can see. Importantly, we also use it to talk about specific activities, maybe kayaking or skiing or diving, uh, and we're able to brief people uh, readily here. 
but the nuts and bolts end, all those things come together in the mudroom, in the stern. Okay, we're in the mudroom now, so we're towards the stern of the ship. You can hear the propellers whirring away, that's the background noise, and this is where the rubber hits the road, because all the talk and the learning comes together here, and we get ready to go out to Antarctica or wherever it is. Um, a locker for every room for people to hang their wet gear and for wet weather boots, muck boots, so you don't have to take them into your cabin. And it's separated from the rest of the ship, so this is the working area, the fun bit. Not only is the mudroom used for simply going onto the shore, there's more complex activities going on. This is where we prepare people for diving, for kayaking, for snowshoeing, skiing, going climbing, all the good stuff. What you see in the mudroom, in the design of the mudroom, and, and it extends throughout the ship, is a synthesis of 25 years of our experience. And that's in expeditions of having contact with the places. And dare I say it, as extraordinary as the ship is, for Aurora, it's all about the place. It's about getting out there in the place. That's what makes us tick. <laughs>